Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short unboxing and review video of this Rolson multifunction hand axe. Now it says here it's manufactured by from carbon steel and it has a 12 centimeter bound handle and other functions include a spanner, a bottle opener and it comes with its own sheath. I bought this from TK Maxx which is like a discount store here in the UK mostly selling clothing and homeware. And it says here the recommended retail price is $16.99, but I got it for $7.99. So I thought that was a, a pretty cool bargain that uh, I should probably take advantage of. So before I open it here, you can see that the handle is bound and it's mostly made of paracord. I could see the, the, the practical use of that in the field. If you really need some paracord and didn't have any with you, you could always take it off the, the handle to use. So we'll start with unboxing. So first impressions, it's actually pretty solid. As expected though, there isn't a lot of weight behind it, but uh, it, it certainly feels nice and fairly comfortable in the hand. But we'll see what it's like whenever we start to use it for some simple tasks, like chopping and kindling. It is pretty sharp, actually, which is nice to see, because often when you get bladed uh, tools, some of them uh, straight out of the box, some of them aren't very sharp, and you need to start sharpening it, but I'm confident that this can be used straight away. So next thing we'll do is chop up some kindling wood and uh, see how things go from there. Okay, so I've, I've put the, the axe in the sheath, which is pretty nice and it will keep uh, keep it safe inside a rucksack or even pocket. So we'll just chop up some kindling here and, and split this stuff into finer um, kindling if we can and, and see how the axe goes. So as we've seen, it can do a decent enough job splitting this kiln dried uh, kindling wood up. Um, obviously there isn't a great deal of weight behind it, so it makes makes it a, the operation a wee bit risky whenever you know you have to head into the kindling to bite into it to actually initially split the wood. So that could be problematic. Um, you just have to be very careful. Uh, again, it does a fairly decent job. So we'll see how it goes with this natural wood. Um, doesn't really look at it at the moment because it's been absolutely tipping it down here in Northern Ireland today but uh, this stuff is actually pretty dry but it's it's quite dense wood so we'll see how it goes with this. So yeah it actually made quite a nice job of that. Uh, again, it's very sharp from, from the get-go, so I'm quite happy with this, it was a good buy and it's just an extra spare to keep in your backpack when you're out for a day's bushcraft or hunting or fishing or wherever you would need to you know, cut up some firewood really. Okay, so we've finished chopping up some kindling wood and also a slightly larger hardwood branch and the little axe made a good job of both. Um, in terms of value for money, I paid $7.99 for this, which was I think was quite good. However, the recommended retail price on the label was $16.99 and I think that would just be too expensive for me personally for a tool of this size and quality. You could get a really good full-size bushcraft axe off Amazon or indeed any bushcraft store for probably slightly less than that so i do think it would be overpriced if it was sold at the full price but i'm happy enough for what i i paid for it um i would recommend that you know if you're going to go out and buy one of these and use it um 
maybe keep it as a spare in your pack in case you lose your, your primary axe or your favourite axe. Uh, just for emergencies or even for smaller tasks that don't take as long. While the task that I used it for, for demonstration purposes, um, it was comfortable enough holding and using, but I could imagine that, you know, there isn't a great deal of a handle on it there. So over time it would get, you know, it, it would probably hurt your hands. Um, so yes, definitely recommend it as a spare and something to, to stow away uh, neatly without using too much space within your, your pack. Um, but thanks very much for watching the video and I hope to post some more. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe.